Hi there, good morning. Second start to the video because the first time Buster was giving me, I want to go out now, frantic look. And with my dog, you, when he gives you that look, you have to go. Because unfortunately he's very elderly and uh, the urges come very suddenly. <laughs> anyway, what have I been doing this week? Well, you remember I mentioned in the other day um, about this lady putting on the pattern that was for personal use only. I decided to use it, but I'm not going to give her credit for the pattern because I don't want to be treaded on ground, you know, whatever. I know it's, everybody said to me, it's fine to use it, but I'm just a bit wary. So if you want to know where the pattern is, I bought it off, I can't remember if it was Etsy or Ravelry, but you'll find it in there anyway. Anyway, it's, the hat's being modelled on a, a lady's face, so obviously it's not sort of pouching the way, or draping the way it's supposed to on a child. The pattern does go up to a lady's size anyway, if you feel like making it. Um, I don't want to pull their hat off for. I've made another one in red. That's for my friend's little girl. Um, I mean, I have seen them for sale, actually, a, a lot cheaper than mine are going to be, but these are really thick and really chunky, if you notice. Uh, no offence to the other lady who's selling them, but I think her wool's a lot thinner. Um, this one is for another friend who wanted it for her little girl, but the little girl decided that she didn't want ears on it. Um, so, but I tried this one on actually because it's quite roomy, and I think I would like to make myself one without the ears, <laughs> you know, for those cold days. But I'll make mine a little bit bigger because it's meant to sit, you know, like, um, and the cowl actually is a little bit tight on me because obviously I've got <laughs> much wider shoulders. Um, I made another one using double strands of chunky but this one did come out a bit big. Now this one would fit me but uh, I'd already put the ears on it and I don't really fancy going shopping with the ears. And then I made a little one just using single chunky but as you can see it's a little bit open and the wind would blow right through so the poor child would probably not would point it wearing its little hat really unless it's in its pram so that's what it looks like with a single chunky uh, anyway because of the confusion over the pattern I decided I would buy another pattern and this is from a lady well you probably know about her she's called Mon Petit Violon Violon not violin Violon and she makes some fabulous patterns both on Ravelry and on um, let's see they're all paid for patterns but they are really nice lovely baby patterns I bought lots of them off her beautiful shoes she makes as well and I bought this pattern I'm folding it up so I don't give away too many details of a little hoodie it's in like a sort of a puff stitch and she says there that we can sell them so that ends the, the dilemma of whether I'm breaking any rules or not uh, what today what I'm doing is a, a book, uh, I got a book on pre-order, got lots of them to do so I've really got a lot of videos to do for you. This one's the crochet red one, um, it's for the women's heart health and I must admit I quite like this book because there's so much in it that I like. Um, the first one I came across my niece has fallen in love with it, um, I don't know whether you can see you probably see the pattern a bit better on the back. It's actually got a waist line. I'll hold it steady if I can. With a different pattern, you know, around the waistline. Anyway, it's her birthday in um, April, so... Oh, there's a better picture of the waistline on it. So she's fallen in love with that, so guess who's having it in her birthday present. That one is, um, what's it say, Bobble and Check Cowl. And this one is um, a nice little useful one for spring, summer. You know, if you've got a dress and you, or a blouse or whatever and you're just a little bit chilly when you're wearing it, that's a nice little pop over top to go with it. Uh, you've got the Tunisian chevron it's a scarf. It's quite a wide scarf. It's almost like a, a narrow stole. So I presume that's Tunisian. I haven't read it yet. And um, a cabled hat that's got a nice crown to it. The actual hat has just got the cables, oops, the cables up it. 
as I say it's very use very nice book now this is unusual this is like a, a gingo afghan I mean I don't make afghans because I lack the the patience to sit and do anything that loud but uh, I must admit I do like that one this one um I love it in one way but not in another I just don't like the way that the back pokes out I mean probably there would be some way around it uh, I'd have to do that because you know the way it sticks out at the back you know it would tend to make you look a bit like the hunchback in Notre Dame I think unless you do something a little bit different with it um, and you've got another cowl my one criticism about this book is yes I know it has to be red and everything but putting it on a red and white red and black striped top I think it would be much better if they put it on cream or a white top something like that now this is pretty for the summer this is called uh oh it's another tunisian a vintage tunisian shell so i must get practice in my tunisian i can actually physically do one stitch but it's not something that i've um you know put a lot of effort into at the moment this is a hooded scarf i don't know if you can see it on that hooded so as you can see, there's quite a lot of um, you know patterns in it. Now that's pretty. I'd never know where I'd get the handles from. But I'd have to search everywhere to get them. In America, you can get things anywhere, but in England, <laughs> we're just in too China to get things. Um, it's a nice bag. If we don't send to China for bag handles, we have to pay about twelve, fifteen pounds just for the handles. Um, that's a long jacket. I'm fond of long roomy jackets i don't know whether they i think they make me look slimmer or not i don't know they probably don't they probably make me look bigger but that's my illusion now this i actually love although i'd have to change the neckline and you can see it's asymmetrical or asymmetrical how you pronounce it and i don't think i think i'd be trying to pull it up on the shoulder that it's drooping down on great for the young ones because they like doing that uh this one's a double breasted jacket I mean, I do like the double-breasted jackets if I'm wearing them outside, but if you tend to leave your jackets open like I do, I think it gives you a, a funny neckline, you know, when it's supposed to be double-breasted. This is cute if you're into Scotty Docks. Nice cushion. I did have a gold-making cushion at one time, but my heart wasn't in it. Um, what's this one? Oh, it's a very, very lacy scarf I suppose it's the scarf that you could wear in the spring or the summer you know you don't have to do it in red you could do it in something white or sparkly or something like that um this again is my type of a, an outfit <laughs> big and baggy a bit like me really you know um I don't think that's tuny is it I'm not too sure I haven't looked we have a quick gander um no it's crocheted so it's not a tuny as one these are little handbags. I don't know if you can see them. It's a bit hard to see. They're on a chain. Um, when I saw it at first, I thought it was a hat upside down. Oh, there's a better picture. Better, better picture there. Again, I'm not one for handbags. I don't know. Which I'm not. This one is... Uh, I don't know whether I like that one or not. It's crocodile stitch. When you're a big girl like I am, you tend to leave certain stitches alone because they add bulk to you. It's all right if you're slim, isn't it? But no. Now this is pretty, but again, it's my nemesis, which is round things joined together. <laughs> One day, I promise you, I will master that. Now this is something that my friend would love. It's really, really oversized and nothing there. It's there for decoration, isn't it? Not for anything warm. I mean, I wear my, oh, there is another picture of it. I wear most of my things around the house, so I would get hooked up on every door handle I pass by. Pretty to look at, nice to go out with, but not for me to wear in the house, yeah? That's another um, sort of cowl, but again, um, circular floral motifs joined together. Very pretty, but I'll warm my hand up. Now these I do like, they look nice and they look dainty and they don't look big and clumpy. Um, 
I would like a pair of those. I mean, I do like to, <laughs> but it sounds a bit weird. I like to wear things like that around the house because my fingers get so cold sometimes. I don't know whether it's holding my work in one position that, you know, you're not moving them around as much as you should, but my finger ends. Or maybe it's just my diabetes, I don't know. Um, this says it's a reversible wrap. I don't know what it's like on the other side, but perhaps it means there's no wrong or no right side. You can wear it either way. Um, oh, it's joined, kind of joined down the back. Just shows I haven't really looked through this book properly, have I? I've glanced. Um, now these are very popular but again I don't wear them because um, oh here comes my parcel man you'll have to excuse me I'll have to take a break um, he's coming to pick up a parcel whoa, 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 whoa. 